Hi, today we are making chocolate e or the Spanish traditional hot chocolate that we actually have adapted and love here in the Philippines. <laughs> That is my light, pang lamok. There are a lot of mosquitoes here. We are in the farm. So, talagang takot ako sa lamok. So, pasensya na kung may marinig kayong ganyan. Anyway, today is a wonderful day for me because this is sort of a passed down recipe from my grandmother. And lola ko talaga ang pinapanood ko sa kusina na luluto nito. Hindi lang ang Mita Elaine ko, kundi pati na rin si Mita Helen Soto. She would always make me watch her cook this hot chocolate recipe. Tried to really get me interested in all things cooking and food bilang mga kapampangan nga kami. Pero itong chocolate drink na to, hindi to kapampangan. Actually, maraming naniniwala na galing Batangas tong chocolate e. Dahil ala e, dahil nga sa ganun. I learned na yung chocolate e, yung e pala, ang ibig sabihin nun ay espresso. During the Spanish times, espresso, chocolate e, was thick and really served uh, to the elite or to those who were in a much higher standing in society. At pag sinabing chocolate, ah, it means aguado. Agua meaning water, and of course, it means water down. Medyo mas malab now ang chocolate, ah. So today, of course, gagawin natin sobrang creamy, sobrang thick, sobrang sarap itong chocolate, eh. Here are my ingredients. Fresh Philippine cacao or tablea, coconut sugar, unless your peanut butter is already sweet. We have peanut butter in this drink, you guys. Real peanuts, plain peanuts, cinnamon, and of course, cayenne pepper. I have all the ingredients here in front of me, pero ayoko mag-reveal ng ingredients this early on. Basta surprise na lang. So follow me as we do a step-by-step -step of the Philippine Chocolate E Casey style. First up, we have a saucepan. And traditionally, my grandmother uses this chocolatera or this hot chocolate pot where she, you know, mixes everything and cooks everything, puts this on top of the flame, and also uses this batirol, which is really a tool that makes that yummy, decadent froth that we like in our hot chocolates. So today we're gonna use the batirol, maybe later we're gonna use the chocolatera, but for now, for you guys to see exactly how this works and what we're gonna do, I am gonna use a saucepan. This saucepan is going to be for your eyes only and for the sake of following the recipe. So, medium heat, already hot, fresh, if you can find, coconut milk straight from the farm. So we have about three to four cups of this coconut milk on medium heat because we don't want to put this on high heat kasi mag-curdle siya and hindi siya masyadong maganda. Parang nag magbubuo-buo siya masyado. So, let's put it on... Oh, parang init na agad ng pan. We are gonna bring this coconut milk to a simmer. We just need it to heat up a little bit kasi dyan natin i-melt ang tablea! For every cup of milk, I put two tableas or three tableas if you want it really rich and creamy. Itong chocolate eh, bagay na bagay to sa malamig na panahon. And papunta na tayo sa Pasko. Philippine household or Philippine family or Philippine celebration for Christmas, you will always find hot chocolate on Christmas Eve or for Christmas dinner. Hindi complete ang Pasko pag walang pandesal, queso de bola, paella, and of course, chocolate eh. Okay, so we're bringing this to a simmer. Always make sure to keep your eye on the milk. So once na mag, mag ganun -ganun siya, we will melt the tablea na, okay? We have four cups of coconut milk here. That means we're gonna put two tableas per cup, so eight tableas. So we're gonna put our first two, four, six, Eight, and I like to add one more. Sayang mo na iwan yung isa. Idagdag ko na nga lang 
Too much chocolate can't be that bad for you, right? <laughs> so basically, I put two and a half tableas per cup. So look at this now. This is melting. And there are tableas na medyo on the sweet side. There are tableas na medyo on the mapait side. And this tablea is medyo on the mapait side. So, imimix mo lang siya. Itatansyahin mo siya kung medyo mapait yung tablea, magready na kayo ng sugar or ng peanut butter na medyo matamis. Kasi yes, lalagyan natin to ng peanut butter. Okay? Already, I'm gonna use this. To make some froth, you can see how thick that is already. Let's lower the heat. And now we're gonna put in our peanut butter. We are going to put in this sweet peanut butter. I'm gonna put, yay! That's what happens when it gets too hot! Super duper low heat, guys. Kaya ginagamit tong chocolatera. Kasi it's high, it won't overflow. And that's something you need to be super hyper aware of when you're making chocolate. So I'm just gonna turn this off for now. We're gonna put two tablespoons of peanut butter, two heaping tablespoons, or maybe one tablespoon because this is so thick already. Ang rich, rich na nito. <laughs> Sobrang sarap nito. Okay. Make sure to always stir, you guys. This smells so good. Unbelievable smell. It reminds me so much of my Lola, of Christmas, and it's just so wonderful to serve this with pandesal. Some people make rice pudding or rice porridge with chocolate and we call it champorado. So it's not uh, weird, it's actually pretty normal for Filipinos to have chocolate for breakfast. Uh, whether it's a chocolate drink or a chocolate rice porridge, it's really up to you. But we love all the sweet stuff. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is use this patirol and froth it up again. Just to make sure that all of the peanut butter and all of the tablea and all of that are frothed and mixed well together. Yung Mita Helen ko talagang pawis na pawis na siya pag ginagawa niya to, but that's the love, the TLC that you put in your chocolate, eh, right? Okay, so this peanut butter, matamis na siya, so hindi na ako gagamit ng sugar. Okay, look at that. Here is the secret of all secrets. I like to put crushed peanuts with my pestle and mortar. Okay, crush it finely. Para hindi naman mabilaukan yung mga umiinom nito. <laughs> and some people like to strain it, but I like keeping the bits, the cacao nibs, and also the peanut bits in the drink. Para may extra something for merienda time. Mang maganda kasi yung meron ka biglang nalasa na ganun, di ba? And the ground peanuts, ilalagay natin sa chocolate. Masarap to, guys, lalo kapag yung meron kayong biglang nalalasahan na, uy, may crunchy! Ano yun? Trust me on this. Okay. And lastly, lalagyan natin ng one half cup water. Sa sobrang kapal niya, baka hindi niyo mainom. And for the final, final touch, I like to put a dash of cinnamon, a pinch of cayenne pepper for that extra spice. And in with the batty roll. Okay, take a look at this, guys. Look. And we're gonna allow it to simmer again for the thickness. Let it rise up. And then turn off the heat. This is my workout for the day. <laughs> and we can transfer this to our chocolatera. Take a look at how thick and creamy this is, guys. Don't give too much. This is super rich and super thick. That should be enough for now. And of course, don't forget to serve it with pandesal na tinost sa butter. This is your treats, your holiday, guilty, sinful pleasure. And it's so good. 
<laughs> Enjoy. Cheers. Just the right sweetness. And so thick and creamy. Love it. Hope you guys enjoyed this chocolate air recipe. I hope you watch the next videos to get inspired with more of what I cook in my kitchen.